Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. We've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Arrow 2 leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. As you can see, we've already started here. Oh, it's Ben Yedda. Forward it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Ben Yedda. Quite a threat. And it's Ben Yedda. Polk. Gets into some space. Balls come loose. Tries to get it forward quickly. Rangers have conceded a few at around this time recently. Looking to stay solid now. Played out to the right. score aimed long and direct hook is steaming forward Balls loose who's getting there now the cross will keep his ball or thereabouts gone and we still await the first goal did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger Hulk crunching tackle Marquisio Forward it goes. Sanchez. Tries to get it forward quickly. Played into space out wide. Hits one! Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Been intercepted. Hulk. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Can he finish? He's delivered all right. There is the breakthrough. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Rangers draw first blood here. 
Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Great. That'll be the final action of the first half. There we are, off they go for half-time. The great move did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Any strong opinions on the first half? A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Rangers are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Rangers really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Hulk. Going through. And Hulk! It's broken Luke, would fall kindly. And that's caused a worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Motherwell, whose last result owes so much to the astuteness of their manager. Well, Peter, you just can't... Hulk it has a pop! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. I thought he did so well to exploit the space that was afforded to him then. Deserve more. Oh, good interception. Still separated by the game's only goal. And it's Marquisio. Richie. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Goes for the cross. And it's hoisted clear. <laughs> that had to be more accurate. Hulk. He's had a shot! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Dinks one in. Knocks it away. Out for a throw. We have got changes here, from both sides in fact. Side, but well, Peter, from experience, defenders I can tell you hate those runs in behind. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Done very well to intervene. Rangers. May be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Now, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. And now the breakaway. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Chip through. It's gone a long way up and away. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Should have been two. Hulk was totally aware of how that chance could have impacted on the game, and that should have gone in. Enjoria! Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. This is coming thick and fast. It's another set piece. Rangers 
looking to pull clear here. Oh, what a goal! About as smooth as it gets. Two ahead, late in the day, game over, surely. Oh, that is a bit special. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. He's got amongst the goals here, and now he takes his lead. Look, he can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager is probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Rangers get themselves a two-goal cushion. The final five minutes. Out wide to the right. Oh, that's nice. Has a hit! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Who's going to get that? Chance to shoot. That's a foul. It could be a penalty. So a big, big chance now from 12 yards. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. To increase the lead. A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Oh, you could always see he was confident about that. He always looked like he was going to score. Rangers take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. And he has been fouled there. And he's going to have his name taken. There is concern on the faces of the players standing around him here. Great leap! No, he didn't quite meet it right. And that is it, the referee has seen it off. Rangers have won big and in style. Everything went for them, their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Your reflections then. So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful yellow sunshine. These are conditions for the beautiful game, at least that is how it should be. The backdrop could not be any more idyllic. The players are with us now, the crowd is in in good number and in shirt sleeve order. 
It is lovely to be able to breathe fresh air without having to wrap oneself up to the gills and simply to uh, turn up and to enjoy a match that matters to so many. The Saitama Stadium looking a terrific picture as always. One of Asia's best purpose-built stadia. And we rise now for the Japanese national anthem. our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks. If you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot, it can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. We're underway. Has he picked him out? He's tried one. There it is. Well, that's the star dreams are made of, and that has to give them great confidence for what's to come. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Japan ahead, one goal to the good. Ball's out, it'll be a throw in again. Plays it into the box. Gets up to head it! Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Up for the header! Oh, taken with style! Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Sabri chooses to go back. Cleared without complication. Could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Just brushed off the ball there. Forward it goes. Turkey are very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it, and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work, and they are. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Tries to get it forward quickly. A real chance to break. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. This ball, who's going to get there? Aimed long and direct. Tufan. Dinks one in. Knocks it away. Tries one! Goal, Turkey! And the comeback is complete!
Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Turkey get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back of it. Stop defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Sabri. Japan in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. Brings it forward. Loose, who's getting there? Over to the left. It's a loose ball. Sabri That's just an example looking. of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tufan. And the first 45 minutes are up. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. And we are up to the break. Well, give me a moment to get my breath back. Uh, what a super half of football. Incident pack, goals, comebacks, and the match being turned on its head. Which way it's going to go from here, it's anyone's guess. back on the way Japan need to get the balance right to sort this out ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that great but he's gone for it And he's going long. And that's been leave it clear. <laughs> Managed to get it away. Subtlety, he's launched himself there. No foul, says the referee. Played back in. Up to meet it! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Just about up to the hour now. Japan really aren't helping themselves. They're not seeing enough of the ball. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. 
Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. He'll have a dip! Well, he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Pushes it out wide. Here's the cross. And it's hoisted clear. Japan are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Fuck, he's had a go! No mistake! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! Uh, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. So all square and not for the first time. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. It's come loose. And a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. Quickly, and it's Sabri. He's got options out wide. Big chance! Oh, that's incredible! Late in the day, this could well be it! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Turkey what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. And that's that. Japan have some soul-searching to do here. Having been in apparent control, they have allowed it to slip away. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. It was anything but a foregone... Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. This, of course, the Saitama Stadium looking so intimidating with the crowd close to the pitch, so much like classic European stadia. A moment of great pride, the anthems.
we rise now for the Japanese national anthem. we have suggests it's going to be a 4-5-1 formation Jim well the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in he should get plenty of support with this setup required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Well positioned to make that interception. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Kagawa takes control of it and he's on the move. Played out to the right. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. into space out wide. Kagawa, over to the left. Hideguchi. Kagawa. And he's cut it out. Danger averted for now. Sakai. Now it's Kagawa, out wide to the right. Crosses, is it in? Plays it out to the wing. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Balls loose, who's getting there? Kagawa. 
let's be leave it clear. It's wrestled off the ball. Saka. And it's Kagawa. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Pushes it out wide. Looking to break out here. Some good stubborn defending there. Kagawa. Kagawa. And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So your views on the first half? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. The action is back on the way. Japan can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose. They can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Plays it out to the flank. Look at the defender bombing forward. Gets up to head it! Oh, the ball's come loose. In he goes again! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Gets it upfield. Out to the left it goes. The yeah, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's Kagawa. There's a long ball. Oh, good interception. Taxidis. Nil-nil still. It's a game that needs a bit of life injected. Could move up a gear here. Going through. It's a loose ball. It's gone a long way up and away. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Try cutting inside here. Tries to pick out a teammate. Greece are taking a simple, modern approach here. Yeah, but I'm all for simplicity, Peter. If it works, it's good enough. Can he put it away? And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Shot a goal! A great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. It away. And it's been taken straight back. Aimed long and direct. And he's made certain that won't get through. See this. 
Half an hour gone in the second half. And that's put paid to a promising move. Goes long. Greece showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And he's going long. Socrates knocks it away. Greece making another change here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Heave to the back post. Japan merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. For Tunis, Papastathopoulos. It's got through. Up he gets! Harmlessly behind. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Played out to the right. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And the counter can be on now for Japan. And time is up. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's goals. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the cards. So...